Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. And when we last left off, we built the pizza pin and this little exhibit over here uh, next to the Nayala. Uh, what we were going to do, as I was discussing at the end of the last episode, is I think we want to get sort of a safari situation going where we have plenty of space over here for a massive uh, African uh, exhibit. And looking at something like the African buffalo, when we look at the interspecies enrichment, they can live comfortably with these seven other species. So, if we made a very large pin that could inhabit all seven of those large species eventually, uh, then I think it will work out well. Then we can do some sort of trolley situation where we, uh, we get something uh, on rails, and we have them staged, say, over here. And then it will run the entire sort of circumference and maybe even like a figure eight uh, through the African exhibit, allowing people to see all of the other creatures. Now, one thing that I also want to see while we look at this is what is their opinion of humans? Because uh, that's one thing that we need to make sure that we're not putting anything that will eat human beings. Uh, so the African buffalo is neutral. The wildebeest is neutral. The ostrich, gah, the ostriches, ha, ah, are neutral. Uh, then we have the common warthog. Uh, they are confident. Um, so I don't know if that means they are hostile. Confident, you know, they're not going to hide. But then again, they might attack if they're feeling too awful brave. Uh, the plane's zebra is confident, so they're not going to run and hide, it doesn't seem. Our reticulated giraffe is confident, so I don't think they're going to run and hide. Our sable antelope will be uh, neutral, so they may run and hide. At least they're not shy. Uh, that's one thing that we have to look out for. And our spring box are shy. So... One thing that we do have to consider, if we do put a rail-based African safari thingy-mabob, is the spring box. Everybody else will be pretty confident or neutral for humans, so they don't need to run and hide. So that means the spring box will probably be put in last, uh, if you ask me. Uh, the next question that I have is group size, and can we purchase the species required? Uh, so our African buffalo needs three, uh, one male and up to 14 females, so that's one male, two females. Looking at their habitat, they need a little bit of water, not a whole lot of land, and a grade three boundary. That's one other thing that we have to consider as well. If we have to go up to grade three, that is probably going to be opaque uh, barrier, meaning people can't walk right along the path and see in. Uh, so we have to get our... Um, our trolley situation set up at the same time so people can hop on the trolley and at least see the buffalo and whatever else we put in. Uh, so that's one thing that I'm going to be considering. I'm thinking that we put in a grade five non-climbable brick, uh, six, seven, eight foot tall, uh, that will surround the entire enclosure and then we can uh, work on our trolley situation over here that will start over here, go over the wall, do the, do the circle, and then come back. Uh, that is my thought process. Uh, so what I will do is I will look through all of the interspecies here and see who needs the most space uh, to get a baseline on how big the base uh, enclosure should be and be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a massive uh, brick wall, 10 foot tall enclosure that is 15,500 meters square. I think that should be good. What I've done is I've also uh, put the zookeeper door over here and put in a large keeper hut over here so that they can get the, uh, the food situation all set. So that gives us a, a rest stop, a keeper hut, and a... Oh, we already have a keeper hut. Well, n you know what? Never mind. We're fine. Because um, we're going to have a lot of creatures in here. Hopefully, they can make the most out of it. And uh, hopefully, we can be nice and efficient. I've also placed this water treatment plant right over here, which this side over here can be our lake. So we'll start our lake like right over here and put it in this corner. 
and that water treatment will be able to reach it just fine. So now, first and foremost, uh, what we want to do is get our first uh, creatures in here and set up the monorail. Now, what I want to do is uh, get the the ride over here. Uh, the, the station over here, it's gonna come up and over, hopefully not too awful close to the uh, the uh, rest area over there. Let's look at um, the negative impact on gas. So what we need to do is start it back here and that way it comes in over here out of the negative impact zone. And then we can do, just do a big old lap, I think. Uh, we have the money, we have the power, or at least we should have the power, let me see. Alright, so I don't know if the entire track needs to be powered, that's something that we have to look at. Um, if it does need to be powered, we can put um, a staff path back here with one of the uh, wind turbines just to get that, and we'll see if if the station being powered powers the entire track that is going to be something uh that i will consider so i will go ahead and uh get the some construction going on here with our facilities and our transport rides we have our transport monorail right here and hopefully that will allow us to uh, build the monorail up and over this uh, exhibit and come back uh just fine so i will set down the said track for the monorail and uh, be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, monorail one is now open. We have our entrance over here and we have our exit over here. Uh, it looks like just one car uh, that we can do for now. It uh, looks like it seats uh, six people, seven people, something like that. So I'm thinking there might be a bit of a line that is going to form if this becomes uh, popular but no time like the present to go ahead and get our first animal in our exhibit uh, for Africa here. And if we are able to, I think the African buffalo uh, would be really good to bring in. So let's go ahead and see if we can get uh, one male and two females in here. All right, the African buffalo. Let's clear our filter here. Boop, filter, and then African buffalo filter. All right, so we need one male and two females. We have 1,700 in the um, in our conservation credits, uh, so we can only afford one, Fin Yang. So we will go ahead and uh, snatch up Fin Yang uh, if we can here. Not fertile at all, unfortunately. Uh, maybe by the time you know he uh, he kicks the bucket we'll be able to uh, get a fertile male in here. But now let's uh, change it up to a pair of females if we can. And go ahead and filter the females out. Clickety clickety. Come on. You know what? Reset the filter then. All right. So we have Arabia. Okay. Yeah, that will work. Let's go ahead and adopt her and move her into Habitat 10, and then we will get a second female as well. Uh, let's see, Kezia. Can we, can we not see them? There we go. So Kezia's okay. We'll go ahead and bring her in from the Frontier Zoo. There we go, looks like it was having some difficulty uh, doing that, but now delivery is scheduled. All right, so our zookeepers are going to go ahead and run uh, our African buffalo over here. And then we'll see if that drives up the uh, appeal for the monorail. Now, one thing that, oh, disease animal discovered. And vet is on their way, lickety split. That's what I call a good response time. Uh, probably all the poop laying around if I had to uh, make a guess at why our fair bongo named um is getting clamptobacteriosis all right that research is complete outstanding so the lesser antillian iguana so we can uh oh good so we did have some research in there outstanding uh we don't know anything about the nyala or the baird's tape here the saltwater croc needs some love as well as well as the giant forest scorpion 
Uh, let's get Angelique on the giant for giant forest scorpion, and let's add what we discovered with the iguana in the uh, enclosure here. So let's get a long, wide trunk in there as well. So our Nyala will be uh, treated for Clamptobacteriosis, and then we also have a hungry spider and fighting for alpha status in the bongo pen as well. Uh, so one thing that we can do is uh, take a look at these uh, bongo, see what their social group is. So that's fine with the adult population. Let's go ahead and take a look at all animals in here. Uh, so we have five animals, two male and two female with um being treated. And what is their Zoopedia, please? What is their social group? Okay, so we can get rid of all the males and just keep the females. That is fine. Okay, so that answers my question. So, um is a little female. So, between Ulebayo and Yazid. Alright, so Umabayo is the alpha. That means Sayonara Yazid. We'll go ahead and release you to the wild for 47 conservation credits. And that will fix the, uh, the alpha standing. And the alpha can go nuts with all of the, uh, the female population in there. Hey, we got some people hopping on the ride. Now, one thing that we're going to definitely keep a look at is our profit. Um, it would be nice if we got in here and changed the number of cars. Uh, but, I mean, it's not necessary because uh, not that many people are riding it so far. But our African buffalo is now here. Cannot reach habitat possibly due to your work zone setup. Mechanic. All right, so let's take a look at the work zones then. I'll make sure that this is included in work zone three and I will be right back. All right, I've added the water purification plant, the, uh, the new facilities and this fence line into work zone three. So that should be fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and get our African buffalo set up nice and peachy here. Uh, I don't know if we know any um, any enrichment items for them, but the, ne the, the next thing we have to do is get them their watering hole. Uh, looking at our purification, all of this area over here uh, can be water. Uh, so what I think I'll do is make a long slender water uh, hole to come say right about through here, like right along the edge, that should be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and modify some terrain here. Uh, Boop you. All right. Push this down. Make it nice and big. Because I'm pretty sure the creatures that we're going to have will need a whole lot of water. And if not, it, 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 it should be fine. All right. So then we'll flatten to the foundation here. Like so. And we'll just drag that right on over to say right here. And then we'll just smooth out some edges so that they can walk down in. All right, we'll get that old smooth brush. Something like so. And this entire area should be included in the treated water. That's what we have uh, set up here. And then they'll be able to approach it from either angle, from say over here or over there. Uh, I don't know if they're going to walk over the monorail track or if they're going to filter, say, under the tracks over here and then over. We'll have to t just take a look, see? But there we go, massive water placement. That is going to be 962 meters of water. Nice, so the uh, buffalo are all set with their water requirements. Now we need, let's see, terrain is fine, but we need more soil, less long grass. Uh, hopefully, these animals that live together will share um, some of the same terrain needs. That would be nice indeed. All right, let's uh, paint in some more soil here. And let's go heavy soil right along the water's edge. 
And then if we need to, we'll uh, add some short grass where that long grass is. That should be fine. All right, so we've gotten rid of all of the short grass. Uh, short grass, ho. Yeah, we'll just go right through here. We need massive size. Size 20. Just get all that long grass gone. Or at least most of it. So we can bring that short grass need up. Because this is supposed to be simulating Africa. So not so much long grass. And then we will need some more soil here. Let's just continue the soil on through here. Something like that. Alright, so plenty of soil, plenty of long grass. Everything is good for their terrain. Let's see, we could add some features there, but they don't need plants. Let's see what enrichment items we also have for our good friends, the uh, African Buffalo here. African Buffalo. All right, so coolers, the grab ball. Let's uh, put the grab ball over here. A grazing feeder over here. We could start some large shelter. We'll put that right over there and then we'll get in some bedding as well. Some big bedding for these guys. Go ahead and have a rest. Something like so. Let's get a water pipe over here as well. Let's get a water, no we don't need a water trough. But we will need probably several large feeding troughs as well. We need the barrel feeder there. And I think our African buffalo should be pretty happy uh, with that. Yeah, 90% enrichment. Good environment, good terrain. Good social standing. And mechanic research is done. Hey, what do we got? Souvenir shops. Outstanding. So what we might do is put a new souvenir shop over here uh, by the pizza pen. Let's uh, go guest facilities and let's go souvenir shops. Merchandising, merchandising. So just a memento. That's right. We're working on hats. Fantastic. All right. So what we'll do is edit on this grid and then we'll put down some facilities. We'll put down a Hats Fantastic. Flip her right around here. Hats Fantastic. And then put down the shell. Whoops. That won't do. Are we editing this group here? Let's make sure that we're editing group edit mode. There we go because we want to put it right over the top so it doesn't look all wonky. Yeah, when we when we place the shell or when we put down the shell, it just sort of goes on its own. So we'll we'll do our best here to line it up. Something like that and then we're going to need a sign for uh Hats Fantastic. All right, do we have a sign for Hats Fantastic? No, nope, just a Habitat Education Stand. Tell you what we will do, though, is we'll put the Habitat Education Stand down over here for our African Buffalo so that as people walk by, they realize, hey, um... You know, this is the African exhibit. This is uh, this is what's going on over here. But we're going to need a, uh, a Hats Fantastic sign. Um, do we have a donation bin over here? No, we don't. Just put one there just in case someone feels like uh, contributing. 
All right, signs. Now we need a hats, fantastic. So let's put a swinging sign right over here. And then we'll put down a hats, fantastic sign there. All right, yep. Yeah. Advanced mode. Rotate this bad boy on down. Jeez, that's finicky. Something like a so. Like a so. And then we'll just move it on up. Hats fantastic. All right, so we got hats. 69% scenery rating, that's good. Should be fairly attractive to people, and now we'll see, right across from the pizza pen, whether someone wants a hat, and our first customer is uh, Noel Burnham. You can't believe the toilet is free. What kind of world do you live in where you, whoop, well, yep, there we go, first hat is a rhino. Outstanding. Habitat information board incorrectly placed. So it's not providing any education unless it's near a, an exhibit. And we can't do that because the only way to get in this exhibit is via monorail. So that is, uh, that's, that's discouraging for sure. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Hey, African Buffalo, you feeling okay? You, uh, yeah, 96% nutrition. We have our alpha male. Everything is fine. Zookeeper is in here. They're nice and young. That is for sure. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get them some interspecies enrichment as well um, and see what else we can put in. So, they're fine with wildebeest, uh, but <clears throat> I'm sure that the wildebeest needs a ton of them. To be happy, seven is at the medium, uh, so I don't think we can do that. Now, one thing that I'm concerned about, let me look at the animal path here. Okay, so they can walk under that, but they can't walk over the monorail. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and raise up the track, I think. That way they can get um, throughout the pen. And one concern I have is the giraffe. Are they gonna duck under this thing or are they just gonna be stuck on the outskirts? That's one thing uh, I don't know. But let's go ahead and uh, edit up this monorail track if we can. We might have to close the ride before we edit the track and then we have to do a whole nother test. Uh, but that's fine. So one thing we need to do is raise this up a metric crap ton if we can. Track limits exceeded. Now I remember it was like 12 degrees, something like that. Let's get this up as high as we possibly can. Track limits exceeded, yes I know. Next bit of track, we'll see what we can do. We'll just go up inch by inch then. Okay. That may be a bit too aggressive. Let's move this up a skosh. Okay, so I will go ahead and get this track raised up a bit. At least high enough, hopefully so that the giraffes can walk under it. And uh, I will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I went to the giraffes and they were not available. Uh, and then I looked at um, another species. They weren't available either, but the common warthog was, and they do share an environment with the African uh, buffalo. And we happen to get an albino male, which is uh, really, really cool. Uh, hopefully they share the same um, habitat here. Looking at their habitat, everything is good. Outstanding, they have plenty of shelter. Now they do need plants, so this is our opportunity uh, to put down some plants here while our monorail gets tested. I think out here in the middle should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and look at nature for the grassland 
and Africa. And then we need the biome for grassland and tropical. Hopefully we can find some big old trees. Ooh, a boabab would be really intense. Uh, let's go with a, let's see, coconut? Coconut palms, that should be okay. Candelabra tree? Are they updating? We're providing coverage for them. Maybe not a whole lot. How about a kapok tree? Yeah, kapok trees work. That's a little bit of coverage. Something like that. Cool. Things are uh, looking up. Almost there. Little itty bitty trees. We don't need any nettles. Ooh. Not a whole lot of coverage there, huh? There we go. Getting in some more coverage. Now we're starting to get it. Let's see, tree fern. Let's put some trees upon the path here. Up, oh, Nyalas are fighting for alpha status. We can go ahead and fix that. But there we go, plenty of coverage for our warthog. And then uh, the big loser of the Nyala are going to uh, be gotten rid of. Are you the Alpha Z, Z Como? Is indeed the Alpha. So, uh, Dakari, hate to lose you, but we're releasing you to the wild for 38 conservation points. And now indeed, uh, our Warthog should be fairly happy. Uh, we can see if we have any enrichment items for the uh, Warthog though. Species, I believe they're the common Warthog. Yes, indeed. Uh, so a sprinkler. Hey, we can get a sprinkler up in here. There's a sprinkler for you. We have feeding troughs. Ooh, mud box. There you go. Plop down that mud box and see how you like that. Yeah, enrichment is at 93. We've got the inner species bonus for the buffalo. Good shelter, everything is looking good. And the warthog immediately heads to the sprinkler. Outstanding. With a, with a rainbow, how about that? Double rainbow indeed, so city is uh, looking really good. And I was under the impression uh, that we had an albino. Don't know where they ran off to, but we will uh, take a look. Are we ready to get open for business? Yes, indeed, we are now open. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to take a ride on my monorail? You know you want to. Come on, you crazy hair Veronica McQueen. Oh, that's a hat. It's a spider hat. Hey, that is cool. Can't go wrong with a spider hat, and indeed, uh, she is ready to ride. One of only a few, but we can get her going. And you don't want to sit next to each other, huh? But hopefully this view is okay. Um, the ride looks pretty intimidating from the ground floor. But uh, hopefully everything will work out. I'm just waiting for more people to show up. And the, uh, the bad thing is, when they get back around, hopefully our monorail will... Uh, We'll leave. Otherwise, they'll be stuck. Oh, here we go. Here's some more people. With it full, it'll be ready to go. Yeah, hopefully they won't be, like, stuck up here forever. Waiting for the other uh, ride to go. Inspector, inspector. Sweet. Do we do a challenge? A hey. Ticket entry profits. We'll take that. Try to offset the cost that this thing is going to do. Okay, they're riding and ready to go. Hopefully, they'll be able to uh, to really appreciate what we've got going here. Can we see their opinion? 
Hold on. Pause it. Let me get in here. What you thinking, kid? Can we not see? No, it's just attached to monorail, so we can't see their thoughts until they get back. That's fine. Come one, come all. Join the monorail. It's awesome. Yeah, they're ready to go. Here comes another group ready to go. So maybe 10 cars is a, or 15 cars is a bit too much. It's good to have, you know, backup cars just in case. But hopefully as the word spreads, they'll be fine. Yeah, our Chinese pangolin is stressed. They're going to have to uh, go hide. And one thing I'm definitely going to look at here is what happens to our first riders. Uh, whenever they get to the end, are they going to be able to disembark? Because if not, it's going to be a, uh, a bad time. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So hopefully, we can have a steady stream of people to get in. It does look like we're getting the... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars in between. So what I might do then is take away five of the cars. Just have ten cars going while they, uh, while they wait. Because that's got to be a painful wait indeed to do that. I don't want to close it while there's still people on it. I'm not sure exactly what would happen. But yeah, I think if we get five cars out of the way, maybe even like seven or eight cars out of the way, then we'll be able to... Uh, to make sure that no one is waiting to get off because that's going to be the uh, the biggest thing yeah we're just going to close the ride here edit the track and then see about our car situation here oh under price i can fix that no worries 20 welcome to 25 dollars and 20 dollars for zoo ticket costs yeah, we are going to need to drop this down to, say, eight cars. Maybe cut that in half. Make it open. We didn't do any track changes. So now we've got eight cars. And that should be fine. Come one, come all to our revamped and redone monorail. And then hopefully we can get this big group over here interested in our monorail situation. Penguin should be fine. You're running like crazy. Where are you off to? That was one refreshing drink. Well, glad you liked it. You're heading to Habitat 9. Yeah, I don't know if this thing is going to end up being profitable. Uh, we may need to get another enclosure over here. And then loop that back to the main zoo somehow. Maybe make a, a, a land bridge over or something like that. But, I mean, things are uh, looking up indeed. Hopefully our monorail will be appealing. Looking at uh, finances, it is a cash drain. But with the increased ticket prices, hopefully that will offset. But that will do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen of Planet Zoo. Hopefully when I come back, we'll be able to continue uh, placing more uh, creatures in this African wilderness exhibit. And uh, I don't see any of them. There they are. They're chilling in the shade uh, back here. So they managed to find their way over to the watering hole. Let's make sure that indeed, yes, indeed, the, uh, the lake is getting pure. And we're getting a Chinese pangolin about to die of old age. One of our, uh, one of our oldies, 14 years old, unfortunately. We'll get a vet down there. But yeah, the zoo is looking uh, pretty good. And hopefully we can uh, encourage people to come to the monorail, see the sights, see the African creatures. They'll be able to get a really good shot over here as the, um, as the monorail comes down. They'll be able to get right up next to those buffalo. 
have quite the safari adventure going on. Oh, nice. Warthog's jumped in, taking a bath. Good to see. Nice. So that will do it for me and this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're here on the ride camera from the seat. And uh, yeah, driving right by those African buffalo. Take a look at that. If you don't like that view, well, I mean, he's, his butt's sort of, you know, looking at you. But if you don't like that view, uh, something is wrong with you. Hopefully, uh, that will appeal to the greater population. And we can go ahead and get these uh, monorails going. Hey, we're starting to fill up some cars. That is outstanding. We're starting to get a little bit of a line, but uh, with six seats per car, hopefully we can keep the ride queue down. And hopefully when uh, these fill up, they leave immediately, and indeed they do. And our other first car is about to crest. So I think we have the right number of cars here, ladies and gentlemen. It looks... Uh, Looks impressive indeed, and people are happy about the hats, it looks like, which is uh, outstanding. I do like it. But that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Planet Zoo video. Take care.